Hi everyone, I am Johnny Man, and welcome back. Here we are in all the mods eight, and this is episode two, where we are working our way through. There it is. <laughs> working our way through all the mods eight, where we've got a lot of quests and challenges that we can progress through. I don't think we're going to be doing all of them, but you know what? We're going to just have some fun and figure things out as we go. And yeah, we're just going to dive right into episode two. All right, uh, here we are, and as you see, we uh, we finished the house. Well, at least the uh, the basic structure. Uh, we got to worry about decorating and making modifications as we see fit. But hey, we got a couple little upstairs areas on either side. We got a nice fireplace, which is all great. So yeah, yeah, we'll figure out what we're gonna do in here as time goes on. But at least the house is done, which is great. That was one of the things we were setting to set out to do. Uh, I've been harvesting trees and logs and all that kind of fun stuff. So uh, yeah, we're getting stuff ready for storage. Um, I put down some chests just to put uh, specific itemized contents, such as this is going to be all the mystical or the botania stuff. So we've just started as we've been out adventuring, we've found some mystical flowers. So this will be all the botanical stuff, and then uh, this will be whatever, whatever. Just until we get proper storage up and going, I just kind of want to keep uh, the things that relate to the, some of the different mod packs just together, just for organization purposes. All right, so what are we going to do today? Well, we've got a few things I want to kind of knock off if we can. Uh, I would like to start building up some of the drawer storage just so we can organize and kind of, I don't want to be messy with the chests. And this is kind of where I thought we would do some of the storage. Um, nothing too fancy, just kind of outdoor storage here. And yeah, so if we take a look at basic storage, we do have... Oh yes, I do need to make a backpack. Remind me to make a backpack. We we need that one for when going adventuring, definitely. Um, what do we got here? So this is our chest upgrade. So yes, we can we can make sophisticated chest that allows you to upgrade your chest to metal. Okay, great. So we know about that. Yes, so that's going to allow us to make vanilla chest. Oh, we've already got one of those. Uh, to make like iron chests and gold chests, which actually will end up having more storage. Okay, so that's a vanilla chest. It's an oak chest. Oh. That's subtly different. That's interesting. Okay, well, like I say, we're gonna we're gonna try to take care of some of these uh, quests at the same time. Uh, and then we'll just do a little adventuring. That's an interesting difference. Oh, nighttime. We're just gonna sleep and then we'll come right back. All right, we just saw for the chests, there's just a different recipe. Hold on a second here. Let's let's do this. It said it needed a redstone torch. So I've been just making these chests, which is kind of what you're used to for making an oak chest. That's a quark oak chest, but we put that in there. We get a sophisticated storage oak chest. Interesting. Oh, and we've got rain. Hold on. Is this a thunderstorm? Can we sleep through this? All right. So we have slept through the rain and yes, we're back to a nice sunny day. All right, that's interesting. So, hmm, oh, we need the sophisticated storage. Oh, so if I'm reading this correctly, we're just going to do a little, a little test here. So I can't use these. So the, when you normally make a chest, as we we're used to in regular Minecraft, just planks around, that is a quark oak chest. But then if we put a bridgestone torch in there, we get a sophisticated storage oak. Okay. But can I take a cork chest and surround it by iron to upgrade it? No. So we have to do the redstone in between. Oh, interesting. And to see that this gives us a, a bigger amount of storage compared to just the regular chest. Okay. Hmm. We'll just make a bunch of these drawers. Luckily, I can use the cork drawers for this. I don't have to make the use the redstone to make the uh, the sophisticated storage ones. And so, to make drawers, we put chests in all corners, and that'll give us a kind of a two by two oak drawer. So you know what? There, sixty four. 
You know what? That's a good start. We'll get a sense for what's going on. Now, with these drawers, they're functional storage. So if we take a look at functional storage, there will be... It should be a controller, storage controller. There we go. Um, okay, we don't have quartz. The storage controller will come in later on. Oh, and it's coming nighttime. So you know what? I'm just going to wait for this, go to sleep, and then we'll come right back. I was almost thinking I might just kind of make it kind of an L-shaped pattern. We can kind of organize to a certain extent what goes where uh, when we put stuff in the drawers. So here, let me give you a sense for what's going on. So, and by default, the drawers, each drawer holds a certain amount. So we'll see. It'll probably tell us once we start putting stuff in. Because if I'm not mistaken, there are upgrades which let us increase the capacity that the drawers can hold so here i'm just kind of hmm i just want to there we go so let me show you what we're gonna what, what i'm thinking we're gonna do is Start with, say, the food. Because we've been getting, we've got a whole bunch of different foods and foodstuffs. So let's go. So we have apples. Things that we can actually consume. I think that's a good category. So radish. Cherries, peaches. Uh oh, I think we have a wandering trader, everybody. Elderberry. Oh, some of the food's already. Uh, as an example, we know that all of these, even that, and even that, all of these sort of come off of the trees. So if we put that in there, we go that. Here, let's we'll put an apple down there. So, nice and easy. So there it shows you. So by default, we can hold 512. So it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, we can just put cherries. There's really no... I'm not worried about what's going where. It's just... It's storage. Okay, these are kind of woody things. We'll put those at the bottom. So there. So as an example, let's cut down this tree, I'll show you. There we go, tree comes down. And then we pick up all the wonderful things it drops. Here, we'll, we'll replant them just for good measure. There. So as you'll see, we've got some black currants. So now I can just, with the black currants, I can right click and it puts them away. And eventually, so see if I, uh, I can't put these away in another one. I could go into an empty one, but then that's not what I want. We already have something and we can go put them away there. So what that drawer controller or the storage controller will do is when that's hooked up, we can link all the drawers to it. And actually then I can just double click on the storage controller and everything that's in my inventory that has a spot in a chest will automatically come out of my inventory and go into its appropriate spot so this is going to help minimize this stuff it's going to clean up all of this so i'll spend some time uh getting all these things put away so what i'll probably end up doing is kind of go by category so we'll have like food stuff so i'll probably do seeds and then we might do um like different woods then the minerals so things like you know cobble dirt sand that kind of stuff um and then just more for miscellaneous. And, you know, if we have to make this bigger, we will. Now, this is only temporary until we get to, where was it? Uh, until we get up to refined storage, where we can actually have, basically store everything in the equivalent of storage disks. So then we just make disks and we can put everything in there. And then we have kind of a crafting terminal interface and we can get it all that. But we're not there yet. We will be. But that'll take some time. All right, in the last episode, I showed you the mining caves that we have over here. 
And there was one little feature over there. Actually, there's some diamonds too that we need to go get. Uh, but there's a little feature that was like a bed off in the distance and we were going to save that to go explore. So we're going to go check that out right now and just see what is down in the mine. And I wonder where they're coming from. <laughs> Must be a little pocket uh, or a little tunnel that I'm not seeing. All right, so we work our way down. Here we go. Okay, here we are in our big open mine shaft area. Oh, and there was a... Where's that diamond? It was over here. There it is. Let's uh, let's just hope that we have another one in behind it. Ooh, we got the advancement for diamonds. We got one. Oh, well, that's okay. But there was that over there. Now, did, oh, I... Okay, good. I was going to say, did I come down here without blocks? I don't know if there's anything there. I kind of ran up there, put some torches, and then ran back. I was afraid that there was something there, but it's not looking like it, is it? What's that? Uranium slate ore. Uh, we probably want some torches down just to kind of keep the creepy crawlies away. Ah, there's a spawner. That's why. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, is it? An, oh, the spawner for them. Oh, you little. There, leave me alone. Silverfish spawner. Okay, so it's not looking like there's anything there. Hmm. Well, let's check it out. What do we have? We have a silver gem. And a leather tunic, which I don't think we need. Blast furnace, which I could steal later on. Oh, I saw the TNT too late. And we probably just lost whatever was in that chest. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I should have paid attention. Okay, well, we, now we know. We know we have to uh, be careful. Oh, good. There's a bunch of iron, which we are needing. I'm just... And I don't need you guys coming at me. There we go. Ah, okay. So uh, I'm going to take care of these guys, and then we'll go and check out what's in that chest that we saw underneath the spawner. We'll make sure there's no TNT, though. All right, so we've cleared up the silverfish. We've had a few zombies coming down from over there, so we have to be quick. Um, we are going to just quickly check and make sure there's no TNT underneath. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Oh my. That was a lot of stuff. Um, well, see, this is why we have our nifty, handy backpack. We just throw stuff in there. There we go. I have no idea. No idea what we grabbed. I just grabbing a bunch of stuff and running. So, yeah. Whoops. Oh yes, the uh, the other diamonds. Let's let's get those and then we'll head back home. Oh, more. Yes, we do have to get going because I lost my only axe. Or weapon so yeah we're gonna head back home and take a look at what we just got all right we made it home we came up we slept all's good so now we can safely look at all the stuff we got so we did get a couple we got a couple more diamonds which is great I have lots of leads don't want to have to worry about those chrismite oh interesting Oh, magenta shimmering mushroom. And that's a botania thing. So you know what? We'll just throw it in the botania box for now. Come back over here. Just as I have a feeling where we're going to be dumping things. Oh. 
so what do we get in the backpack so we got a slime spawn egg interesting three creeper spawn eggs oh we have five more diamonds in total some slime balls nice grave dust interesting we'll have to look into more about that some inferior essence so we'll put the diamonds away slime ball uh we should have inferior oh i actually I have some slime balls there. Didn't even realize it. Oh, and that Inferium is full. So we'll just pop that there. We got some obsidian. That'll be helpful. It'll be enough to actually make a portal to check out the nether. Hmm, that might be something to do next time too, eh? All right, so it looks like we've got a few things to do before next episode. Uh, I'm going to expand out the drawer storage and try to sort out all those chests back over there if we look at some of the quest lines it's kind of indicating that we we could get started on mystical agriculture which is a possibility because that's using seeds to actually grow things um things that we need like grow wood grow different materials and all that but you have to make the seeds first so that's a possibility and that's all through the infusion altars which is kind of cool um i think let's see okay yes yeah, yeah we you yeah, know we can make all of those i'm just worried about the hmm infusion crystal well i'll have to figure that out uh the other thing is so we have mystical agriculture which we can start it's letting us know that hey we can start looking at some of the mechanism stuff which we may need to thermal we are it's telling us we can get into and there's a few things in here that would be useful for sure uh we do have botania we've started to get some of the flowers so that'll help us and if we make floral fertilizer we can get more of the flowers um and then net so the pedal apothecary is where we can start building up the mana power, so these uh, th these flowers will burn to create mana. We end up making these collectors to collect the mana, and then we direct the mana into mana pools, which they're not showing in here. Oh, here we are. Yeah, so here, into the mana pools, because we use those. So there's Batania we can think about starting, and say we can start elemental craft too. Interesting. So yeah, so I'm going to expand that out, uh, maybe decorate the house out a little bit. We'll have to see and get ourselves ready for the next because maybe we'll even think about making a portal and go to the nether to check that out. I know we're not totally equipped for that, but you know what? It might be worth just checking out to see what's there. Anyway, thanks for coming by. I appreciate that. And I look forward to seeing everybody again next time as we come back with all the mods eight. Have a good day.